Hello everybody, kids to kids learning here. And today we are going to be unboxing Lego Ninjago set number 71741 Ninjago City Gardens. This is the second largest Lego Ninjago set of all time and is the largest Lego set I've ever bought with a piece count over 5,000 pieces. This set is insane with some insanely cool minifigures too. We have Golden Wu, Mechanic, Ronin, Clutch Powers, Misako, and Young Lloyd with the hair Master Wu had when he was small, which is very cool. These are my favorite minifigures from this set, and I am so excited to open it. Let's have a look at the box. I really love the overall design of this box, the way they have this city buildings in the background, other buildings. It's very cool. And the water below too, which is very, very nice. I think it gives you a feel of being in a garden, a very peaceful place with that temple there too. I think that temple is pretty, very cool. It, it has a Zane statue in it. Um, because remember at the time, if you're a Ninja Uncle fan, you remember that Zayn got destroyed by the Overlord in season three. And there was a statue for him. So they have that statue in this temple right here. And this set is a legacy set, a huge legacy set with um, things that happened from the past. They have the Ninjago Museum of History and the Saint statue, for example, and Chen's noodle shop. This is the one side of the box, it's just design. The other side shows a measurement of how tall the Ninjago City Gardens is. It's 73 centimeters tall. And when I measured it using my ruler by just like you know standing and making it stand up straight it was very tall and I can't wait to open and build this and see how tall it is and see the detail and even from looking at uh, look, looking at it from the box it's so good I, I wonder how it will be when I open it this is the back it has what the Ninjago City Gardens has in it, an ice cream shop, um, a Ninjago fan's house, a small apartment, a gaming area, and um, a place where you can eat. I think that's Coke. I don't know, that's, that's the same place. The Ninjago Museum of History. And much more stuff is here. These are the functions. And this is every story floating so that you could see what buildings it has, what are the details? You could see tiny details in them that you would not notice when you look at the front. So that is very cool too. And this temple, they show you the back of the temple and you can see the Zane statue, which is very cool. It's, it looks very peaceful, very realistic build. I really love this. And that's all with the box. Now we will unbox it. There's an opening here, so I'm gonna cut it from this side. I'm so excited. Look at all those bags. This, this is so cool. Whoa, all those pieces. I am so excited. We will order them by number. There are so many bags. There are over 20. As you can see, we already have a 22 here, which means there's it's over 20. This is just amazing. I think I opened it from the wrong side, but it's fine. We'll be able to organize it. I'll just pour all the bags up. Oh, there's even another box inside. I, I think those the, this box also has pieces in it. I will keep the box down. These, this is the um, half, the top half of the whole building. These packets. So, I think I've opened it the wrong side, but it's fine, we can organize it. 
I will leave these here and I will open this. Need a scissor again. It's so cool that they have another box inside. That's very cool. Maybe that's what made it so heavy. I'm again excited. I'm opening another box. And this is for the box. These are the ones for the uh, Again, I'll pour them out. Ooh, we have some interesting stuff in here. We've got the templates. I think this is for the big, the whole thing. This is for the temple. I'll leave these here. We have a huge instruction book bag, which I'll open now. And look at how many instructions and look at this is the sticker sheet. There are so many stickers. Wow. Oh, okay. Bad okay. They even have a poster. This is so cool. Wow, I love this set. And it's Ninjago, but in non-anime. It's, it's in it, it's in Ninjago, but not Lego. It's anime. It looks like that. Yes. Like how Ninjago would be when it's real human. And this is one instruction book, this is another, and another, with a total of three instruction booklets. This, it's gonna be very hard to organize this, I'm not sure if all of them would fit on the table. So I will show you each pack one by one. This is pack number one. And... Where do we have two? Couldn't find two anywhere. Where's two? I think this is one too. It looks like it. There's one on it. So these two are one. Packet number one. Okay, now I have no idea where packet number two is. Let's have a look. Um, we have packet number four. Uh, yeah, finally, packet number two. And packet number three. Packet number four. And this just go, goes on so on and so, so forth. So it's a very big set. This is... So cool, and I'm pretty sure you'd get bored if I keep showing you all packs one by one because there is over 20 packs in this entire set. I'll give you a top view of it once I'm done organizing. But overall, I'm so excited to build this set. And we can conclude from all of this that the Ninjago City Gardens is a truly amazing set. And if you buy this set, you will love it. I really recommend it for you. This set is amazing. Great details, great minifigures. Everything is just great about it and very Ninjago. These are all the pieces from the City Gardens. They're all so cool. There are so many pieces. I, I can't wait to start building this set. These, this is the sticker sheet, the poster, and the three instruction booklets. This is the interior box. This is the main box with the City Garden picture on it. So many bags make me excited with all those pieces. So many pieces I haven't even seen or, or used before. This is so cool and I can't wait to build it. And thank you everybody. Please like, share and subscribe. See you next time.